Hey guys, I haven't fished for a really, really long time, and I'm going out with my buddy. Yes, Siri. Going out with my buddy Matt. We're going to play some crappies today. Um, one of the lakes is a small bass lake, but in the spring, the crappies can really stack up, so we're going to give that a shot. The wind might pick up on us. From there, we're going to hop around a little bit, see if we can find different pockets of crappies if the wind allows. I haven't really fished for a long time. Uh, weather schedule, weather schedule really busy been busy in the shop thank you guys for that um, really I was out once on my birthday caught a few fish on the river and had some uh, problems with the GoPro so I'm really hoping to, to get those worked out because I have a huge trip coming up this summer and before that I was out with my daughter ice fishing and she really smoked us catching bass I might throw a clip of that in there just for the fact that again I had GoPro problem Here's your line. Oh my gosh. Yep. You don't have to force them up. Just keep, just keep the rod tight. Here he is. That's a good. That's, oh my gosh. Holy. Look what you got. Holy crap. And I think it was one card that kept corrupting. So I'm going to try and figure that out today. I'm using directions to go three miles across town to get mapped. Oh. Dropped a fork on the ground, that's gonna probably be Matt's. My wife was really nice today and she made us. She's got us caramel rolls. So they're all packaged and hot. I should get off the GoPro here while I drive. Pick Matt up, we'll get loaded and we'll get on our way to get in the kayaks. I think when we get out of this breeze, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Can't forget my power pole. Do hickey. My new license from Minnesota. Come back here. New license, Minnesota. I'm glad I definitely pooped today, though. Probably good to know. Just stop at BK. Why do we do that? Because it's cheap and quick. And it tastes good at the time? Honestly, I should start stopping at Chick-fil-A because that, that, that seems like a little bit. And really what I'm looking at, there is a spot on the right up here, and then there's a back corner, and then way in the back left, there's a, we really nailed them when last spring, not a spring, a spring before. So there's a few spots that we can really uh, find the, the crappie stacked up, hopefully. Yeah. I think the best way to start is with like these little crankbaits just do a search and yeah that's well, what I'm, i got one tied on my rod yeah we'll search for them when we find them we'll anchor in and we can we can uh whether we use soft plastics at that point but the crank usually is a good way to search i think we'll i think we'll get something here blitz was saying that it usually takes him six or seven tries to get get an intro or something he's happy with too so it makes me feel like less of a goofball <laughs> although i'll probably redo it once we get out of the wind yeah but, there is some Something good wind noise. Oh, well, I tried to not look straight into it. This mic usually does all right. Oh. I, th I think John went and got the same audio setup that I got. Yeah, that's what he said he asked what you got, because he's going to get it lined up for Alaska too. Oh, yeah. So hopefully he, uh... But we've been on such a terrible shift the last year, it's been tough to do anything. Come on in, the water is perfect. Yeah, there's something right in front of me. Oh, I got something. I saw him take it. It was so cool, too. I saw him take it. Large mouth. Wrong species. I found them. Hundreds of crappies. Crappie? Hundreds of them. 
Yeah. They're like, ah, oh, in this way. Say there's a ton of them up there? They were swimming out this way. There you go. Look at that. Crappie. You know what? We're going to net them because. That's all right, isn't it? There was like a hundred of them. Tempted to creep up along those brushes and get the wind in my back. Look at that. That's eatable size, isn't it? Yeah, on board. Should I live well them? Uh, it might be a little small, I don't know. I'll let him go. Do you need help carrying down? I don't think so. I'm just going to slide mine in, so I'll get out of your way. Spot two is, looks gonna can't talk. Looks like it's gonna be pretty good. We got some shore fishermen this way, and then back farther than you can see in the reeds, there's a bunch of boats that connect to the main lake. So I don't know if they can get in this little bay, but we're gonna check it out and hopefully really get on a couple crappies. Put that in there. I got my bump board because there's a slot limit here. Someone's trash. I should check pick up on the way out. That, that, everything is still loaded from the last lake. All right, I'm gonna push in. You know what, I don't have my fishing poles. <laughs> I forgot my fishing poles. They're just sitting in the back. Yeah, that'd been really embarrassing. I always forget something. Thank there you. you That's why you bring a fishing partner. Oh, those oh, are nice man. crappies. I probably tossed back 10, that were under 11. It's gotta be 11 to keep them out here. And I've got none, so it's time to go to the uh, Matt Magic bait here. Here. I did snag the one on my Rapala crankbait, but you found him and he stayed put. All right, I'm gonna get a little ways away from you. All right. There we go. I got one. My first crappie here. I think I was just fishing too deep last time. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, I got a crappie. He might be keeper size. He's, he's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, nothing wrong with my bait. I was just way too deep. Get that done. Yeah, that's nice. I got my bump board. Let's fight. I got 11 three quarters. There we go. Oh, yep, here we go. It's moving. Oh, that looks like a good one. Yeah, they do. And it's on the ultralight, they're fun. I don't know if he's gonna be big enough though. He's going to be close. One way to see, isn't there? Oh, I don't know why I put my wet net on my uh, pants, but... Matt's got one too. No, this one's ten, about 10, 10 and a half. Yeah, that's okay. I got mine. I think I'm Matt in the background. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. It doesn't 
doesn't feel so good anymore, but it's hard to tell. I'll take them. Oh, he's all right. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Yep. <laughs> I should have netted him. Yeah. Got away right at the uh, the side. He was close. He says that's where I get hit all uh, got hit all day today. There, he's got another one. Oh, I'm down. I didn't even see it. <laughs> the only thing that made me nervous is the wind. Yeah. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Got them right away. Boy, they slide right out too, don't they? Yeah. And while I measure them, I'm just gonna throw this right back out. I don't know that these, this one's gonna be a keeper at all. Why can't I hold a crappie? Oh no, he's only ten and a half. Nice fish though. All right, there you go. There we go. Stay on. That's all I care for. Just stay on. Let me measure you. This might be a better one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. This is a keeper. What's that? Oh yeah. It's a nice fish. Yeah, they, I mean they're nice fish, aren't they? Twelve, if you stretch them. I'm gone. Yeah, I don't know where or when, but stay on. I've been fishing in. We've been fishing in six to eight feet of water roughly with my bobbers maybe three feet down. Just a little twister tail and a jig head. I gotta use a net because I don't have as much supper as Matt does. Oh, I think he might make the measure stick. Let's get him out. But I think towards evening here they are moving a little shallower. I was out deeper than you and I stopped getting bites. Hit my bump board now that I'm back out. Matt's got a stringer full. He's been crushing them all day. Let's get a look at you real quick. Maybe he's gonna be close. Bump board. Oh yeah. Lemon and a quarter. And I think mine no, it's up there. I was going to say, I don't have as much for fish tacos as you do. There we go. Stay on. It's not fast and furious, but boy, it's been steady all day. He feels good. I like that ultralight bend. Look at that bend of the ultralight there. And the wind died down just a little bit too, so maybe you can hear this. Oh, come on. So, changing directions is where they get off. 
right in the net. He looks like he'll probably keep and do that. Bump board him here real quick. And to be efficient, we're just gonna throw this back out. Yeah, it might be that they're just up shallower here now towards evening. Moved in about oh 150 feet. Because Matt was catching them and I quit. And he was a little shallower than I was. So get the bump board out here. Gonna be close. Got 11 and a quarter ish. That makes you legal. Another look. Here's the fish slayer. How'd you do, Matt? Awesome. You got way more than I did. You can hold your stringer up. Five, you got four. You only kept four? Five? Well, yeah. I, I like go that 13 and a half. And sure. I had probably three or four that were too close to call with my paddle ruler. and. It got back. really breezy out there at the end. I actually got chilled. We just said the water temperature was almost 50. That was 49.8 or something like it's that. It's like 52 degrees. I got I got damp at the end putting those crappies on my lap and that wind picked up. Well, that's a nice, that'll be nice fish tacos right there. We'll take this off and we'll get some fish picks added. Yeah, that'll be good. Go up the hill, you can see the uh, the traffic has really moved in on us. I'm just hold up a couple of yours. I don't have to pull mine off the stringers.